Hi DIY friends, my name is Shannon and I want to welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. You're going to be so glad you watched this video today because it is full of 25 amazing but simple ideas and home hacks that are going to change your life. These are also extremely affordable ideas as we're using all items from the Dollar Tree. I also want to thank Blissey for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and dive right into the very first home hack. So as I said, we're going to be using all items from the Dollar Tree. So let's head on in and grab our very first everyday item, which is a tarp from their hardware section. We're going to take this outside. This is such a handy little trick for you. If you have any kind of yard clippings or you've done some gardening, you have branches from trimming a tree, throw them on a tarp, and then you can kind of drag them around your yard, gather all the piles up and kind of move on to the next, get them all in there and then take them back to a spot where you can dump them or put them into a garbage waste bag. Easy peasy. If you have slick interior flooring like hardware, laminate, tile, then you probably have the same similar problem that we do where our interior doormats and rugs like to move around. But that is such a quick and easy fix by grabbing one of these tubes of caulk from the hardware section at Dollar Tree. Go ahead and make sure all the ingredients in there are mixed up. And then you can run several beads of this caulk on the underside of your doormats or your rugs, making sure to get the edges too. Those are important. This caulk says to let it sit for two hours before it is dry and I did put this on our countertop before replacing it so nobody accidentally stood or walked over the doormat so that's a good tip too and then once you replace your rug you have no more slip and sliding rug which is really nice and obviously much more safe as well this next one is my absolute favorite hack. I use this all the time. We're gonna grab a spray bottle from Dollar Tree. I love these metal ones. We're gonna make our own linen spray. So you'll need lemon, tea tree, peppermint, lavender, eucalyptus essential oils. You'll also need some witch hazel and some water. We're going to remove the sprayer off of our bottle. A funnel really helps and comes in handy for this. We're going to add two ounces of water, two ounces of witch hazel, and then six drops each of our essential oils. You can obviously interchange these essential oils and do your own combination that makes you feel cozy or whatever you like to have a scent for in your bedroom. Once all the ingredients are in there, replace the sprayer, shake it up and it's ready to go. I love to use this linen spray, obviously on our sheets in between washings to keep them fresh and smelling great. Blissey is my new ultimate favorite hack for the bedroom right now. Blissey offers silk pillowcases, which give you better hair, better skin, and incredible sleep. This is a completely natural and hypoallergenic silk pillowcase designed by a team of experts that does wonders for your overall health while you sleep. I recently switched out my old pillowcase for this beautiful Blissey silk pillowcase. I also love that it has a zipper on the end which keeps the pillow in there. It's not going to slide back out. And why do I love it so much? Well, because it gives me a cooler night's sleep. It also has moisture wicking properties to it which helps prevent night sweats and it helps you to stay comfortable because the fabric stays cool. So whether I'm taking a quick nap or if I need a full night's sleep, I love the cooling effects of it. It helps me sleep better and I have felt so much more refreshed in the mornings. It's also really great for your skin. Blissey silk fibers are less absorbent than those of cotton, which allows your skin to retain more moisture. It's also great for your hair because it reduces hair breakage up to 43% while you sleep due to its smooth surface. That's why I love Blissey's scrunchies too. I always put my hair up at night before I go to bed. So this is a great way to protect my hair as well. Go to blissey.com backslash the daily DIYer. Just click the link below and you will get an additional 30% off your order and free worldwide shipping. Get your energy back, sleep better, and even improve your hair and skin with Blissey Silk Pillowcases. That's B L I S S Y dot com slash the daily DIYer, or just click on the link below. Code will automatically be applied at checkout for an additional 30% off. If you've never tried Dollar Tree's paintbrushes, you absolutely should. These are the only ones I use. And let me tell you, we paint 
a lot. We are renovating our 100 plus year old home. I'll put a playlist if you want to go back and see some of the fun that we've had in this process. But like I said, definitely use these paintbrushes. They will save you a bundle and they work just as good as the pricey ones at the hardware store. If you'd like to see our big bedroom makeover, specifically here is the before and now the after. And if you'd like to see the in-between, I will make sure to link that down below. That is where we used that paintbrush. Also, we're gonna grab these rubber bands from the office section, but we're gonna use these in the kitchen. This is a great hack. If you have a cutting board that likes to move around or walk around on you as you are cutting, whatever you're cutting on your cutting boards in your kitchen, go ahead and take your rubber bands and slide one onto the top, one onto the bottom. Just make sure to put them towards the edges so you have the most ample room in between to then be able to cut your meat, veggies, fruits, ingredients and you won't have a cutting board that is walking around on you. Now let's not waste those lemons that we just cut. These are great for cleaning. If you have any kind of little bits of rust starting form on your knives like I do here, grab some coarse sea salt from the Dollar Tree, sprinkle that onto your knife, and then take your lemon, squeeze it just a little bit so you can get some of that lemon juice coming out of there, and use that as a scrubber on the metal of your knife. You definitely wanna give this a good scrubbing on both sides. And then once you're done scrubbing, take it over to your sink, rinse it off, dry it off, and it is ready to use again. Now, obviously this isn't going to sharpen it, but it is going to shine it up for you and take off that rust. This is such a great hack and it especially makes your knives look brand new again. So before you toss them, try that trick. We're gonna take the same trick over to the sink, take your coarse sea salt, sprinkle it into your sink, and then take your lemon, scrub, scrub, scrub as much as you can all the way around the inside of your sink. I even do the garbage disposal, and this is going to work as an abrasive. Don't waste that lemon again. Put that down into your garbage disposal, run some water, and run that through your garbage disposal. So not only are you cleaning your sink, but you're cleaning your garbage disposal all at the same time. You have to let me know down in the comments below, do you dry out your sink after you're done cleaning it or do you just let it air dry? I'm gonna be totally truthful. I usually just let mine air dry, but I wanted to show you how nice and shined up our sink is now. And also it smells a lot better too. Speaking of smells, vinegar is a great deodorizer. It doesn't smell good at first, but it does take the smell away. And we are gonna use that to clean our microwave. So take your vinegar, pour it into a microwave safe dish. I'm just using a coffee mug here, putting it into my microwave and I set the timer for about two minutes. We want this uh, vinegar to get good and heated up and steamy in there. Once your timer goes off, carefully remove that and then you can come in and start cleaning it. But here's another hack. If you don't have one of these, I'm gonna link it down below. It's super cheap off Amazon. It's a silicone mat that I keep in my dish or in my microwave. And it has so many different functions, but the biggest one I use it for is a mat inside my microwave because it easily cleans with some water and you just lay it on the sink to dry. And it just makes it so much easier than having to run your tray and through the dishwasher. And then the vinegar also steams off all of the baked on and dried food inside the microwave. Just take a damp cloth, run it over all of the surfaces. So not only does it clean it, but it also deodorizes it. And we all know when we add like pasta or spaghetti sauce or something in there, we get that weird smell. That'll take that right away. And here's an embarrassing truth. I have never cleaned these screens out of our vent over our stove. We installed this about a year ago now and I thought it was about time to clean these. So I did some research to find the best way to clean these and I thought I would throw this in here in case you're needing to do this as well. I got them wet and I used a lemon to go over all of the surfaces and then just popped them right into the dishwasher, ran the dishwasher, they came out decreased nice clean and shiny and then pop those right back in there and it may be I'm not kidding probably another year before I ever do this again unless they really need them but I mean you don't see them right but it does help to clean these every once in a while These are the only paper towels I ever buy. I always go to Dollar Tree because they have the custom size. You can make them big or small and they're actually really great quality and they absorb pretty well too. For the price, I feel like they're a pretty good deal. 
So that's where I get them because I'm a Dollar Tree a lot. So here's a great hack to use them for. Put them down on the inside of your garbage cans. Why? Well, because before you or after you put your garbage bag in on top of them, it's going to catch any of the moisture that might happen in there or if something leaks in your garbage bag, it'll help absorb it and hopefully stop it from getting onto your floors, right? So this is another hack of mine. I love magic erasers. But the Dollar Tree Magic Erasers have a scrubbing side, which I love. So this is what I usually use to clean the garbage can when it gets pretty crummy. And so I just do that, wipe it down, and now the garbage can is clean and good to go with the help of some Dollar Tree items. Next to Dollar Tree, we're gonna grab one of these broom attachments and also one of their microfiber accessories that goes along with it. You just pop those together and then use a broom handle that you already have or Dollar Tree carries those too. This twists right on there and also yes it helps if you take the actual tag off of the products too. And we're going to use this as a duster for the walls. Yes, let me know down in the comments below. Do you dust your walls? We have a texture on our walls and we also have this trim that likes to collect dust. So yes, usually I do go ahead and dust our walls pretty regularly. And if you have dark paint on your walls, this is a must as those typically, typically get pretty dusty too. And this is also so, so great for shiplap if you have that in your home or if you have anything high up like our TV here. I'm just running that across there and the microfiber is super soft and gentle on anything that you need to dust that's up high. These felt pads are an amazing find at Dollar Tree. They have so many great uses and they also have these dots. They have them in the pads or big rectangles. So depending on what you're adding them to, they have some options. I love to put these on heavy things that I need to move around when I'm cleaning so they're not necessarily stationary. This basket is a great example. It's pretty heavy and it does have some pieces on it that kind of stick up that could potentially scratch our floors. So I'm adding some of those felt pads onto the bottom here. The basket is from Target, if you were wondering. And I actually have a couple of these in our house because they're really great quality. But anyway, back to the felt pads. Just throw a few of those on the bottom of the basket and then I put my tree back in there. This makes it so much easier when it's time to sweep behind the basket. So I just move it out of the way. It doesn't scratch the floors. Go ahead and sweep, get all those dust bunnies. And then I can easily just slide this back into place. I'm sure most of us probably think of squeegees as using it for moisture, whether it's in the kitchen or on a floor, to squeegee water away. However, another use is to use it on upholstery. And I love this hack because not only does it remove dust and dirt and hair, especially great for pet hair, it also helps to groom your upholstery, but it's still gentle enough that it's not going to damage it. So this is a great idea and hack. I also love to run dryer sheets over my upholstery too, to kind of help freshen up our couches. Speaking of dryer sheets, I have a full video on tons of ideas of how to hack and use dryer sheets. I'll make sure to link that down in the description box below. Grab this pack from Dollar Tree. There's 55 in this pack, so the biggest bang for your buck here, because there's so many different ways you can use these, and this is the one that I use around my house, not necessarily in my laundry, but it is a great way to clean your blinds, because obviously it's gonna clean the dust off your blinds, but since they're dryer sheets, it's also going to help repel more dust in the future. Again, I'm sure a lot of us think of using car fresheners in our car, right? But you can actually use these in the house too. And Dollar Tree has lots of great scents. They even get seasonal scents during the holidays. So keep your eye out. You just want to make sure one of them has a little clip on the back so it goes on for the vent. This one also has an adjuster, which I really like. So you can adjust the intensity of the scent, but you just wanna make sure you get that clip onto the back and then you can clip these right onto your vents. So whenever you turn on the air, the air turns on, whether it's air conditioning or heating, that air is gonna blow through there and give you a nice scent in your room. 
I'm sure you saw the mouthwash in the intro of this video and thought, what in the world is she gonna do with mouthwash? I'm gonna use it for a cleaner for the toilet. Yep, sure I am. So this is a great way to clean your toilet. You just dump a whole bottle or at least a Dollar Tree size bottle into your toilet, kind of go around the edges of the bowl too. And we're gonna set, let that sit for about 30 minutes so it has some time to work. It's gonna raise the water level on the toilet bowl and then it'll kind of get rid of any kind of hard water or stains that you have. Go ahead, swish that around. And here's another trick, lower your toilet seat and that will give you a space to then let your toilet bowl cleaner drip dry. This is a money saving hack. So these are foam soap pumps for the bathroom. You can find these two cents at Dollar Tree. I recently had run out of my holiday soap pumps from Bath and Body Works. And instead of running out to grab another one of those, which is expensive, I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse this one out, making sure to get all the old soap out and drying that off. And then I'm literally just gonna pour in the Dollar Tree scent to the ins or the Dollar Tree soap in here. It's gonna work the same. It's gonna save us a bundle of money. It may not smell exactly like the label says on there, but you can also remove the label if you wanted to. Or if you just wanted to use the soap pumps from Dollar Tree and make them look nice, you can remove the dollar the Dollar Tree labels too. This is just a nice way to still get some fancy soap without the high price tag. Dollar Tree recently had a whole section of men's care items and I found this facial scrubber and grabbed it, but you can find bigger ones like this one, or they have different styles over in the bath section or the self care section. And I just thought this one was nicer because it was smaller, it has a suction cup on the back, which I'll show you how to use here in just a second. But I'm gonna use it instead of a facial scrubber as a makeup brush cleaner. So I use a little bit of Castile soap, run it under water, scrub my brushes in there. Once I get my brushes scrubbed, then I rinse off the facial scrubber so that is clean. And then I use clean water to finish getting off any of the soap and residue in the makeup brushes and then set those aside to dry. And then once you're done, you can actually use the suction cup on the back of this facial scrubber to suction cup to the inside of your sink to let it drip dry. And I love this too, because you could also use the same idea on paint brushes whenever you have painty brushes from crafting. There's so many different uses for these amazing puck lights. A Dollar Tree, they're LED, they only take a couple batteries. And these have a adhesive on the back so you can stick them up different places. They also have a little handle on the, on the back that you can pop up so you can hang them. In this case, I needed a light underneath our bathroom sink, so to Dollar Tree I went and literally just peeled the, the paper backing off the back of this puck light and stuck it up underneath our sink. And now I'm able to just push that light when I'm looking for something underneath the sink, pop it off again, and then it's off and I can go ahead and close the door. So if you have any dark area in your house, whether it's in your bathroom, in a closet, in a kitchen cabinet, head to Dollar Tree, grab one of these puck lights. They are awesome. Now head on over to blissy.com backslash the daily DIYer and get yourself a silk pillowcase. Treat yourself, get 30% off. I'll link that down below too. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.